Slatan fact. Slatans Gmail account is gmail at slatan.com. Welcome to another episode of Let's Play AC Milan in Football Manager 2021. And as you know, we always have big, exciting games here. And today is nothing different because we have the huge Derby versus Inter, the biggest day of the year for the fans. And uh, Inter is doing really well this season. They are topping the table and they are a few points ahead of us. And then we have us, Roma, Napoli, Fiorentina, all at the same amount of points. So yeah, this is what could be called an early league final. But uh, most important, it is a, a huge derby. If uh, we go to the transfers, they have done two big signings this season. They signed uh, Leon Bailey for Leverkusen for 78 million. And they signed Kamavinga from Rennes for 68 mil. So they have been spending a lot of money. They spent 166 mil while they only got uh, 46 mil from transfers. So yeah, big spenders here. They are going all in for the title. This is the way we are going to start. And uh, I'm focusing on the, the defense now on this screen to show you a few things. First off, Musaccio has left us. I have sold him. We didn't get much, I believe, like six or seven mil, something like that. We also have an offer for Caldara, and this one, it says 12 mil here, but it's actually 15 mil, because all the class are things that will happen, like three mil if you play 10 games for them, and the rest is just installments. So 15 mil for Caldara. And now, of course, it's up to him to see if he accepts the bid or not. Musaccio actually turned down quite a few offers from other clubs until we finally managed to, to sell him. And the reason for me selling Caldara, because he is good, I, I like him, stats is not bad. It is that he is uh, injury prone, and I don't focus much on injuries this save, but he has had a lot of injuries in his career and it picks up. Luckily for us, there's only been shorter injuries, but so many of them, and I always try to uh, to replace injury prone players if, if I can. And he's also one of the highest paid players in our squad. So we will definitely really reduce the wage budget by quite a bit, uh, replacing him with, uh, with younger talents like uh, Romero that we signed in, in last episode. I also want to mention Kalulu. He's one of the players you have when you start a new save in a Milan, who belongs to the club. But he has been loaned out for two seasons. Uh, and now finally it's time to give him his chance. So we sold Conte as I showed in last episode. Instead of signing anybody new, we're going to see how Kalulu develops here. But yeah, he looks very promising. Hopefully he can do well and... Uh, Get his stats up a little bit higher. And here is the Inter lineup. And of course, there are a lot of world class players in their team, a lot of good players. Uh, but our team is not too bad either. We have, I mean, we have the team that's won the league for two seasons in a row. So hopefully we can do well. But this will be a very difficult uh, away game. But it's going to be a huge game for the fans. And hopefully we can give them a good day to remember. We see uh, Inter with the first highlight, and all the stats before this highlight has also been for them, but maybe, maybe here is Kalulu. So we are turning things around. Dembele, back to Kalulu. Kessier, Kessier with a long cross to nobody, okay? Maybe it's going in the other direction now instead. Unfortunately, that is the case. Milenkovic and Hage, come on. Come on, come on, come on, lads. And, ooh, great save there from Domaroma. But yeah, I'm already considering tactical changes because right now I, they have everything according to statistics. But And that's the goal, of course, too. Yeah. We're going to give it a little bit longer to see how it feels, but uh, maybe we should do tactical changes pretty soon. Sensei with the corner. I'm not pleased. And again, we see Inter with the possession, another highlight. And an early cross, cleared, but uh, still in their possession. Going to come back quickly. Come on, lads, focus now. Focus pretty please. That looks far too easy. This is uh, not... Oh, that's going to be a penalty for sure. Kessie, come on, why? That was so sloppy. Uh, the ref not even going to have... To... Okay, it's going for a recharge check. I was going to say that he doesn't even have to take it, but it was clearly uh, a penalty. 
and uh, it's uh, Lukaku who steps up for Inter and now we're in a very difficult position. Let's go for an attacking mentality and see if anything changes. And I definitely don't want to see the replay of that penalty, so he's going to click it away. Three minutes of extra time, we start to create a few chances, but no highlight. It's time to throw some water balls. We need to tell them that they've been garbage. And then we need to go to the drawing board. We have a potential injury, I believe, yes, on uh, Calafiori, so we're not going to risk anything. They're going to bring on uh, Hernandez. And then for the drawing board. I actually going to try something like this because we have had pretty attack-minded formation but they have been doing better than us anyways so I feel that it could be an option to try something before we go all out crazy attacking see what happens if we get a little bit more balance on the middle and we see uh, again 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 it's Inter and that was almost a surprise for Donnarumma, but yeah. Uh, we are getting destroyed right now. Or maybe, 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 nope, nope, nothing at all. Nothing at all. Come on, lads. Do something. This is a derby. We need to show some passion, for God's sake. Here's Kessie. Tonali. Romagnoli. Romagnoli with a long cross to nobody. It was not even remotely close to reach anyone. But I guess that was not the highlight. Instead, we see Inter turning things around in the wrong direction. A lot of room now for Berea. And into the box. And Lukaku is... Ooh, that was a bad miss from Eriksen. Luckily for us. But I think it was no side too. Need to pause it right now. This is clearly not working. Back to the drawing board. So, what do we do? Haug has been bad. Tonal has been bad. Because everybody's been bad. But Kessier is in risk of being... We are going to do like this. We're going to bring on Milik as a uh, poacher. And we're going to try it a little bit like this for now. And then next option is going to be go three defenders too. Because we have nothing to lose now. Now we see Donnarumma with a goal kick for Romero. Halulu back to Romero. Trying to build something here. Then Belly with a very early cross. Can we do something? No, we can't. Not uh, even remotely close. But now we get another try here. Kalulu and Romero. And long, long cross for Milik. Newly sub Milik with the cross. And look at that. Milik and Hauge is linking up. And maybe, just maybe, the Derby dream is still alive. Milik is, uh, well, yeah, talk about Superstop with that cross, but a perfect run also from Hage. Really, really good. All right, I think we have one last sub. Now, it's the question. We have a lot of people that's been garbage, but we also have the two people dying. Both Dembele and Saniolo is really, really tired. And Saniolo is at risk of being booked. I think we're going to go that way. That route and bring on Gegladin instead. Instead of going to strikers, uh, three defenders, I mean, we're going to stick like this. We're going to stick attacking and we've got some fresh legs in the middle. Hopefully, it can make some sort of a difference. 10 minutes to play. We're going to go very attacking. We're also going to go and really speed things up now. We have nothing to lose. But nothing happens. Four minutes of extra time. Clock just ticks on and on and on. And it's a very very sad day in Milano here today because we have officially lost the derby. Maybe this is what we needed to get down to earth again and realize that we are definitely not a done deal. A lot of improvements left to do, but yeah, not a day to remember. And that's it for this episode. It ends with some broken hearts for the fans. And yeah, thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.